what would you kind of mention are some mm. of the the biggest money making methods in the modern world today? So business wise, I mean, look, there there are certain business. I, I've tried a lot of different businesses, and they've all been like online businesses, and so I have a bit of experience, and I know like what's the good and bad of those. And other other people will be aware of businesses that I'm not aware of, and they might be good. But like generally, I think what you want to look for, especially as Muslims, where we're actually looking for something where we can put in not too much time, but get a good outcome out of it so we can spend time with family. And alhamdulillah, Muslims are quite family centric and stuff like that. Right. So that's why I wouldn't like go and start open a restaurant. I wouldn't do a supermarket. I think those are actually very difficult businesses. I think they're low, low profit businesses. I think they're businesses that you can't really leave them alone and they just like will run there's a headache of stock and all of this so maybe before that was the only option we didn't have the internet but now that we have the internet we, we can run businesses a lot s simpler actually without stock and all that and so i would apply that same those same kind of principles to the, even the online world so i'm not a big fan of e-commerce businesses i'm not a big fan of amazon fba for example because it has the complexity of stock it has the low profit margins of selling a physical product and also it's like a lot of these products, you feel like you, you have no interest in the product. It just happened yeah. to be a popular thing, you know, like some people, Definitely. I remember some brothers, yeah, Muslim brothers who were successful with Amazon FBA, they were selling like dog collars. And it's just like, I would never have a dog. <laughs> I've never had a dog and I have no interest in dogs, but I'm just selling this for money. That could, in a way, that could feel like a corporate job where it's like i've got no interest in this company i'm just doing this job for money so that's Agreed. not ideal yeah, it's not ideal yanni so a good thing is to look for something high profit something where you're solving a real problem for people so there's real demand and it's easier to sell it and you can do it from anywhere as well is a great thing and it's simplified you know you don't have stock you don't have uh, loads of staff and all of that and that kind of could be summarized in three types of businesses one is a service business for example doing marketing for other companies doing recruitment for other companies right that's like a service business another oh. type is a coaching or consulting business which is where you are kind of facilitating or guiding people through implementing something right and a lot of people think that you have to be the expert but really you can like learn from experts how to do it and mostly what you're doing is facilitating right so for example, there is, I don't know, let's think of, does that get getting things done or get things done is a very well-known productivity book or time management book. So there are certified get things done facilitators. So they don't know, they didn't make up this method of time management, but they go and they learn the method and then they go help other people implement it, right? So that's like coaching or consulting. Of course, you can do that as an expert in your own right as well, if you happen to have that knowledge or eventually when you're experienced, you can do that anyway. And then the third type, is a course business like teaching people something and gu guiding them through especially when it's like very step by step so these three types of businesses i find them very good if you happen to be into uh where development for example then you you're well positioned to do something like a software which can be very good although the initial investment is often higher because you, you know you might have to hire developers or even if you're doing the development yourself it, it can be time intensive and all of that but it, it could be a good business still high profit and all that so these are like kind of four businesses that I tend to think about as, as good ones, solid ones. I'm sure there are other good ones out there, but this is what I know, yeah.